the next thing after deriving this dart line, the next thing we want to do now to create the dart legs. So we will use one and a half inch for the under bust. So the under bust now one and a half inch. So I go put one inch for this side, then one uh, half inch for this other side. So it depends on you do half inch for this side. So then I can't come down for here like side half inch for this other side. So make I just do until the end. Then we'll connect the lines. See, I'm then from this bus apex here, you'll come down by one inch. As we take go up from this box apex, we go up by one inch. So you will connect them to the dart legs. If you use your curved ruler to take connect this one, so that you go get that curve effect. Same. So the next thing we will go do now come this shoulder, this shoulder um, line, this shoulder line here. Then you will mark two and a half inches. Or three inch but for average person at two and a half inch then you will connect them back to this point so I don't connect them now the next thing we will go do now now to recreate this our shoulder line because we will cut out this part we will cut this side we will cut them back so we need to replace this two and a half inch where we take here so we feel we, we need to replace them these two and a half inches where we take here. So to replace them, you just come here from here, measure, measure the line, just extend this line. So just extend them like so. Then measure two and a half inches. So everything now is supposed to be six and a half inches. That is plus the from here we we'll cut here commot, cut here commot. So from here to here now supposed to be inches. So we we'll need to replace them back. I hope so now understand. So connect this that this that this leg now. Then we we'll can use draw our new armhole and the new armhole go be seven and a half inches like I talked before. So now here the new armhole will start. Sam. So just like so. Then the next thing where you go do now just to use your armhole curve, take out the bust measurement now nine inches from here. Then you just connect them back. So just connect them back. So you see, we we'll just connect back to the armhole, to the armhole line. So the next thing we will want to do now, see what I mean. So this one now, this line we will first draw, you know, they relevant again. So now like this now, the new shoulder line, we will cut this side come out. So the next thing we will want to do now, now to insert our measurements and the measurements for this pattern, the bust now nine inches, that is 36 divided by four plus this half inch, this that here, now half inch, we measure them, half inch, nine day here. So nine and a half inches, replace your that, always replace your that, then plus one inch sewing allowance. One and a half inch sewing allowance. We will use one and a half inch sewing allowance. That's ten and a half. So you will come for the bust line. Insert the same ten and a half inches. Then for the other bust, under bust now seven and a half inches plus this one and a half inch. That's where we take come out here. So that makes it nine plus one and a half inch sewing allowance. Then you will come the waistline. The waist now eight plus one and a half, nine and a half. That is this that. So that's nine and a half plus one and a half inch sewing allowance, eleven. So you just mark them down, eleven. Then connect the dots. See, say this pattern they very simple. 
beginner friendly and it is very straightforward. You see them. Now the next thing now now to create this neckline and this neckline I go like make it stop for the this um our busts as in this our chest line. So make I just mark them here seven and a half. Then I will connect them back to this one. It depends on you, Sha. If you want to make your own day higher than this, why not? For me, I want to make the neckline day for start from seven and a half. So the next thing now, now to the front part done ready. Make we just cut them out now. Shoulder slope. So from here now, then just come here, make it for day easier to come. So you see, and everything about the front with this, so we don't get the front pattern already. The next thing we will want to do. Yeah. So you just so when you measure and now you go see say the shoulder come back see yeah, four and a half this one now one inch now for our joining allowance for this side so this one don't they ready look we just keep on my side the next thing now to just do for the back so from the for the back pattern we don't already create our bodies we get the zipper here then to eliminate the bulge for the down we'll just come up from this zipper line we'll just come up by one inch from here for the mid uh, for the waistline just come up by one inch measure them just go up by one inch then connect the line back to the side seam so that you know we'll get that zipper bulge that zip board for the back when you sew your clothes finish. So the next thing now now to get our dart leg. So the dart leg now half inch we go use for both sides for this one because now back back no get bust. Then from this upper chest line just come down by one inch, come down by one inch so to el elongate the dart that line. So you just connect them straight to this place. Just connect them straight up to this place. Same. So we don't they okay now now to create the armhole for the back. To create the armhole for the back now just to divide the back by the uh, chest line by two. Find the midpoints and measure the uh, bust line. The bust line now nine inches. So here. So you just use your curve allowance that is 10 three quarters so you just make sure say you return all your that so the under bust no no two matter so come the waistline the waist now 32 divided by 4 8 so 8 plus 1 inch that allowance that is 9 plus one and a half inch so you see i'm the back don't ready be this so this pattern they're very simple so make i just cut out the back pattern now then to now go see how you take the outcome of this pattern see i'm saying they're very very simple to make it they easy and it is straightforward so on let me know so just try your own they're very simple. If you get any question, ask me for the comment section. Anything where you know, say you know they clear for you. Just ask me. I will put you through. Yeah. So, now the back pattern for this um for this front pattern be this so now see we'll work on the front part so to get that our empire line now to get that empire line the next thing we will go do now to just come here so we won't use this part they create them so just come here close up these darts see and like this 
just close off these darts. Make sure say everything aligned together. Just close them up like this. You see them? So once you close them up, use your tape, hold them down. Use my tape. So just hold them. No overlap them. Just make sure say them day together. Just make sure say them day together like this. Then the next thing we want to do now, now to now to come create the so from this under bust here from this under bust line remember say here now our under bust so the next thing we go do now from this under bust just go up by one inch or one and a half inches depends on you sha and how you want to make your own be if you fall from this place you just go come down from here from this bust line just come down by either one inch one inch is okay so you just from this one inch then from this waistline just go up by half inch or one inch just go up here by one inch then you go connect them so that you go create that curve effect see so just connect them like so So you see um, the next thing we will go do now is to cut cut the bottom part come out. So now here now we go use now as our see um, now. So this now is the down part. Then to get the upper part, the next thing we will go do now now here, you know say before we close the dart for the bottom part so now we won't open here we won't come open this one now so just to give our that fullness for the down see so just close open her like this then open up to the extent or the amount where you want so if you open up to the amount where you want me, I will just add four inches. I will just open them for four inches. You see? So from here, now, now, four inches. Then I will use my tape, pull and down. So that one now, now I will create that fullness for the down where you will take measure them. Where you will take, um, so you see, I'm now. Make sure see everything they match together so that you know go see if you close them the bust everything they match together so open them like so to the amount where you want then you take another pattern paper make i use this newspaper put another pattern paper for the down so so you will open them like this because we don't want to make this uh, upper part uh, make it shift. So just open it like this. Measure the amount of fullness where you we use 5 inches. 5 inches. So the next thing we will go do now just to tape and down. Just tape and down like so. Then trace, retrace this part out just use your marker retrace this part out like this see um, Yes, so this part now we'll go put them on top of our fabric. We'll place them on top of your material, cut them out. But when you they cut, just give them one inch seam a uh, half inch seam allowance for joining to the down part. Then here also we'll put them on top of our material, 
we will cut them like so you see i'm just give them one inch so make we measure this part now so here now now about 10 inches but if you come measure this one now so we get 15 and a half inches so five and a half inch now we'll go gather so there's okay my people i welcome now again so we don't go cut the material when i say um, as we take fold them as we take them um, open them we just put them on top of our our my fabric we can't cut them out see you see them um, so now the next thing we want to do now to go gather them so we'll go gather this part this down now we we'll go make sure say it match with this um this particular line see um, so you will gather here to the end to this part then you will make sure say the gathers when you measure and make sure say the gathers go filling this place so make we go do and now go come show now the outcome